Hey everybody, this is example number seven for structural dynamics covering the response to harmonic excitation. The problem statement that we have is a vehicle is equipped with an instrument panel weighing 40 pounds through the use of a flexible mount that has an equivalent stiffness, K equal to 500 pounds per inch. The vehicle vibrates with a steady state amplitude of 0.25 inches at a frequency of 40 hertz because of the engine vibration. So we need to calculate the steady state amplitude of vibration of the instrument panel. And we can consider damping to be negligible. So here's kind of a representative model of our scenario. We have the vehicle here. And attached to the vehicle, some type of instrument panel, it weighs 40 pounds. And the stiffness, the flexible mount that, uh, that connects the instrument panel to the vehicle is equal to 500 pounds per inch. And so this is a case of base excitation. And so the vehicle is, uh, as the problem states, the vehicle is vibrating with the steady state amplitude. So we have this base excitation, uh, and we call it capital Y time, we describe it mathematically as Y, capital Y times sine of capital omega T. And this Y is the amplitude, which is going to be 0.25 and capital omega is the frequency of this vibration. So that would be equal to 40 hertz times 2 pi, because we need to get it into radians per second. So, so this is our scenario. And we have to calculate the steady state amplitude of vibration of the instrument panel itself of this portion of this instrument panel. Before we proceed with the solution, I just want to let you guys know that this example is brought to you by Bentley. And Bentley Systems is a software development company that supports the professional needs of engineers, designers, planners, and contractors responsible for creating and managing infrastructure. Bent Bentley has tailored software applications for design, modeling, and analysis of buildings, structures, bridges, plants, and more. I have used Bentley software and I can say that the software was very easy to use and the support that came with it was impeccable. Whenever I needed help, the Bentley team was there for me. So here's their website, it's Bentley.com. There's a link to Bentley.com and some of their YouTube channels within the description part of this video. So if you're a student and want to get familiar with the software and get a leg up over your colleagues during your job search, academic licensing is available through Bentley. And if you're a practicing engineer and you just want to sharpen up your skills, they have a bunch of videos and webinars on their website as well as their various YouTube channels. So please check them out. And now coming back to our dynamics problem, the first thing we're going to do is calculate the mass of the instrument panel. And that's equal to the weight divided by the gravitational acceleration. So it's equal to 0 0.1035 pounds second squared per inch. Next, we're going to calculate the frequency of this panel, the circular natural frequency of the panel. That's equal to the square root of the stiffness divided by mass. So that comes out to be 69.505 radians per second. After this, we're going to calculate the frequency ratio. And that's going to be equal to the excitation frequency, the operating frequency, or we can say the frequency of the vehicle that it's the vibration frequency of the vehicle divided by the circular natural frequency of the instrument panel. So it's uh, the vehicle's vibrating amplitude is at 40 hertz, so we multiply by 2 pi to get it into radians per second, and then divide by 69.505 radians per second, and we get R, the frequency ratio, is equal to 3.616. And now we can calculate the steady state amplitude of vibration. And so here's the formula for steady state vibration amplitude based on uh, considering base excitation. And it's equal to Y, capital Y, which is the amplitude of vibration of our base, base amplitude excitation or amplitude vibration times the square root of 1 plus 2 times zeta r squared, and zeta here is a damping factor, divided by the square root of 1 minus r squared squared plus 2 times zeta r squared. So the problem statement told us that damping effects were negligible, which means that zeta here will be 0. So this term will go to 0, this term will go to 0, 
And what we're left with is that the vibration amplitude steady state is equal to, okay, so I just plugged in all the numbers here. 0 0.25 is, this is y, plus the square root of 1 plus 2 times 0. So this thing goes to 0 divided by the square root of 1 minus 3.616 squared. And this is squared again. And this here, this term also goes to 0. So we're left with that the vibration amplitude is equal to 0 0.0207 inches. And this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel, like the Facebook page, it's facebook.com slash engineering examples. And also visit the website, it's engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.